Hey guys, CJ here, and today I'm finally back. It's been a whole day or so since you've seen a tutorial. Uh, with more modding tutorials. And, um, this episode we're going to be going over adding custom recipes and custom smelting recipes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and create another package, even though technically it is a necessary. I'm gonna call it recipe. In here, I'm gonna have underscore recipes. Just to keep it all uniform. Now, normally, how you would, um, uh, create a recipe is like this. I'm just gonna create a method here so it doesn't give me an error when I try to do it. Um, so you'd go game registry dot add recipe and then you can put in a new shaped or recipe actually you don't want to do that there and then in here this is going to require an output and the recipe itself so for now I'll just put new item stack and item stack is basically a way to say hey there's items but there can be multiple of them so let's say we get two apples from this recipe which is created by putting like a new object and then this is representing well this shows there are going to be multiple things in here it's called an array um, so then we build something that looks kind of like a crafting table uh, you can have up to three in here like this and you use letters to show what items you want so for example I could make the recipe sort of like that. So you have something in the top middle, um, middle left and middle right, and bottom middle. And then all you'd say is uh, character dot value of. And then you put the character, then you put a comma. And then let's say those are sticks. Um, now in our common proxy, I'm going to go into init, we're finally using something else, and we're going to initialize that. So this is just a basic recipe, I'm going to set up some helper methods in a second, but I just want to show you that that's how you create a normal recipe. Okay, so I'm going to get myself a crafting table, and four sticks, and then, according to our recipe over here, it is not done like that but like this and there's two apples so that is a custom uh, crafting recipe and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add custom smelting recipes and then we'll get this class organized so it is game registry dot add smelting and then you have a new item stack now this has to stay one actually I don't think that can be an item stack it has to be an item or a block so I'm going to say, if you put your apple in here, you will get an acacia boat. And uh, I don't, I think this means you get one XP, not one XP level. Ah, so you have to do an item stack here, I forgot. How about... You can set this to one. In fact, you don't have to put anything here and it'll just be one automatically. But I'm gonna set it to 16 because I'm insane. Okay, so I'm gonna get a furnace and just a bit of coal, nothing too extreme. Shut up, pig. And we put our apple in here and we should get 16 acacia boats. There, there we go. Uh, nothing too extreme. Move out of the way, cow. Oops. There. Uh -oh. There we go. Die. All right. So. Oops. Yeah, keep doing that. That is how you add the custom recipes. Uh, why don't I put those back? That'd be smart. 
in the furnace. Put it back. There we go. So now we can actually add recipes. So, first I'm going to create a private static final void uh, add recipe. This is going to have a new item stack. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I'm tired. This is going to have an item stack out and object dot 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 in. So this dot 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 means you can supply as many extra arguments as you want. That is how uh, this is set up, but we only use one. But I'm not going to mess with how Minecraft does it, because Minecraft probably knows what it's doing. So, uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. No, I'm not. If game registry dot add recipe new shaped <laughs> or recipe. And this is going to take our item stack. And actually, I can just do that. So let's do it. Uh, oh, hold on. There we go. So that's add recipe, and then we have a private static final void add smelting. This is going to have an uh object and uh, no I um trying to think well we'll create two methods item stack out and then a float XP this is game registry dot add smelting I wonder if that can be an item stack only one way to find out. It can, so that makes our lives easier. Um, so now, instead of this, what we would do is something more like this. We'd go add recipe, new items stack, items dot, mm, about, blocks underscore dot, block tutorial. You get one of those from Okay, so now that is that. I'm actually also going to set up a private static final void register recipes and private static final void register smelting. And then we'll put the recipe here. And then we'll put the smelting down in this one just to separate them and make it look even more organized yeah let's get into shapeless recipes so a shapeless recipe it does not matter how the items are set up it will always uh, work so certain recipes such as flint and steel are shapeless, it doesn't matter where you put the flint or where you put the steel, it always works. That's basically a shapeless recipe. So, we're gonna have a game registry dot add recipe new shapeless or recipe out and make sure that's imported and we're good. So, I'm going to add shapeless recipe. Now this isn't usually what you'd use a shapeless recipe for, but 
I'm going to be doing that anyway. Okay, so basically in a shapeless recipe, you can just put uh, commas and keep going with the items required because where it is does not matter. So I'm going to go ahead and check that both of these recipes work. Okay, so first I'm just going to get nine of my tutorial items. Uh, and boom, we have our tutorial block, which placed anywhere in the crafting table makes our nine tutorial items. Now just to really show off the shapeless recipes, I'm going to make 16 apples if you combine our item with a piece of gold. So this will just better show you what they are. And if it looks any better, this is input and this first one is output. In fact, you could probably take away the stack, item stacks, like that. Let's try that. Okay, so uh, we take a piece of gold with tutorial item, and no matter where we put it, you'll see that it still makes the same thing. It makes our 16 apples. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of the item stack here too, just to make it look a tad better. Finally, let's register some smelting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add smelting. Ignore that. That is something. All right. <clears throat> so, add smelting is going to take our item stack. Of our output and our input. So let's say if you smelt a bed like any normal person, you will get our basic tutorial item. And then this will give you 6 XP. In fact, it could just be 6, but you have to put an F after it. Maybe you don't. What's wrong here? Ah, uh, takes an item stack. I remember setting that up. Okay, well, let's just do that. And why don't we make this something more reasonable, like an apple. It's going to give you 6 XP. The F is not required if you don't want to, but you can also put partial XP. But if you do, you have to put an F after it. If not, it'll be mistaken for a double. And I just remembered that we never actually called this register smelting. Why don't we do that? Okay, so let's get an apple. Put it in there, along with some coal, of course, and not actually put it in there. Come on, let's do this. Hmm. It seems I have messed up. Uh, I'm doing it backwards. Alright. So, input and then output. Like that. That should work. Okay, now the apple is smelting. And we get our tutorial item. So that uh, tutorial probably took a tad longer than it should have. Let's actually turn off daylight cycle. So this doesn't happen again. It should stay noon forever. That is thanks to the game roll command. This has been here for a while. Anyway, 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a like. And if you enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and the next tutorial will probably be working a little bit on how we register items, just so it's even easier. And we'll, we'll do that and maybe something else if you're lucky.